Hi everyone, Teresa here and welcome to my everyday. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul. I actually believe this will be the last Dollar Tree haul before Christmas. I was in earlier last week and I went in again today so it is going to be quite a large haul but most of the items that I purchased I will be using over the Christmas holidays and like I said I don't think that I will be back um, before Christmas so I also wanted to give you guys an opportunity to still pop in and grab any one of these things that you think um, you might like to find. I did, like I said, find them very, very recently, as late as even today, because most of the things I purchased today. So if you're interested in seeing what I got at Dollar Tree, just stay tuned. So the first thing that I have to show is this cute little basket. Um, I had seen it and had thought, who can I make a basket for? But then I had a different idea. I actually thought this would be great to store my bananas over the Christmas holidays. I usually have a bowl on my counter and I just thought it would be really, really cute to store my bananas in. Now even though I go into Dollar Tree quite often, I usually do go in there on a mission and today I was actually looking for little miniature gift bags and one of these boxes. I had picked up a candle at Bath and Body Works and I just knew that this would be the perfect size and it absolutely is. I did check already and so they have these in silver and red and gold and I just thought the gold was super pretty and so I picked that for the candle. I found this big gigantic coloring book. It it is a Christmas coloring and activity book and it has 20 pages. It's really cute. It's got this little handle on it here and so it has all these like coloring sheets and activities and then it also has a sheet of stickers. Now it's Christmas time and I know my kids are going to be getting a ton of things for Christmas but we do spend time with my niece and nephew over Christmas and I just thought that it would be really nice to rip out a couple pages let the kids um, color in some of these coloring sheets when there's some downtime and the adults want some peace and quiet and not so much loud running around I thought this would be a really great activity for them to work on I absolutely fell in love with these stockings I actually found these last week but I was back in today and they have even more beautiful ones. They have been working really really hard at stocking up the Dollar Tree. I thought when I went in today that I would see it empty. It was actually fuller this week. I Well it was actually fuller today than it was last week and so I got this last week. There's actually four of them. They are identical. I just always love the idea of having a really nice pretty stocking where all four of them matched for every person in our family. I won't use them this year just because we've already hung our existing stockings, which at the moment are all individuals, um, but I'm looking forward to using these next year and being able to have them all match. Now, as you all know, Dollar Tree is the perfect place to find stocking stuffers, and I found this really interesting little brain teaser. I picked this up for my brother-in-law. I'm gonna put it in his stocking. He likes this sort of thing, and I thought he would like this. There are so many different variations and I actually got stumped on which one to get, but I thought this one looked interesting. Whether or not it's any good, whether or not he'll be able to solve the brain tease or whether or not it's really easy, I don't know, but I still thought it was a neat little find. I also picked up this TV Guide magazine crossword puzzles. I thought this would be a nice little stocking stuffer for my mother-in-law. I just thought it was really neat. There are a whole bunch of crossword puzzles in here. It says that the regular price was $3.95 US, $4.95 Canadian. And the nice thing about it is the back of the book has all of the um, solutions to the puzzles so you don't have to get frustrated if you get it almost done and you just don't know the last answer. So I thought she would enjoy that so I picked that up for her. Now one of the other things that I went into the Dollar Tree looking for were these little chocolate boxes. I just love them. I think they're super cute. I got the one that says Merry Christmas with the little red truck and the tree. I also picked up the one with Santa and it says Believe across the top. I picked up two Santas and two trucks and then when I was in today I picked up two more trucks. I just thought they were just really cute, again, as stocking stuffers, and also to give to like the bus driver, um, those kinds of little gifts. You just wanna hand someone a little thank you or a little, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And so I did look on the back and it does tell you the four different chocolates. 
that are in here and there is a caramel, a strawberry cream, an orange cream, and a chocolate truffle. It doesn't say how many chocolates are actually in the box, but I am assuming that it is those four. There's one of each, just basically uh, based on the fact that in the nutritional facts it says serving size for one package is about 200 calories. I'm assuming that's about 50 calories per chocolate, so it's probably about just the four, but I still think it's a cute little gift even to just get four little chocolates. So like I said, I picked up two of the Santa and four of the red truck. I was super happy to find this next thing. I found an egg, it's a plastic egg. It says it's a little plush animal, so I am assuming there's a little plush animal inside. I just thought my daughter would love this. She loves stuffed animals. It says that there are 12 different animals to collect, and since we don't have any of them, I thought she'd be really excited to find this in her stocking. Also picked up this lemon lip balm. Now, I don't usually have luck with lip balm from the Dollar Tree unless it is some sort of name brand like Chapstick or Soft Lips or Lipsil, but I thought I would give it a try. I just thought it was really cute in the shape of the lemon. They did have a strawberry and an apple, but my daughter loves lemon, so I picked this one up for her. Last week, I hauled some clear ball ornaments and I said that I picked them up to do them with a group, so we're actually gonna work on that tomorrow, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna decorate it any way we want, and I thought it would be really neat to fill them up with some Epsom salt, make it look like snow. So I picked up the peppermint scent. I just thought it might be nice to actually have an ornament that has a peppermint scent. So I picked this up in case anybody wants to fill their ornaments with this. Also picked up some foam or sponge brushes. Also picked up some metallic markers. These are the Jot brand and so I picked up these to the purple and the green metallic. I thought they might work nicely on the ornaments. They didn't have the ornament markers, and so when I asked one of the very helpful girls at the Dollar Tree, um, she pointed me in the direction of these, so I picked these up, and I also picked up this almost like purpley, yeah, I guess it's purple and blue one. And then I also picked up a white one in the metallic marker. Now, this one is not in the Jot brand, it's the Forever in Time. It actually had the same as the other colors, but individual. I just thought it was a better deal to get two markers in one package. They just didn't have white in any of the two-pack ones, so that's why I picked up this one. I also picked up some glitter. I thought these were really, really pretty, and I really liked the green and the blue colors. And then I also picked up some more in like the orange and the red. I just thought we'll be able to do something with this glitter. Also thought it might be fun to add some feathers. Again, I'm just trying to give options. So I picked up some feathers, whether we want to glue them on the ornaments, put them inside, something like that. Now the next item I picked up for me, I found these little birthstone gem stickers and I just thought they were really, really cute. It says that they're great for card making, scrapbooking, DIY craft projects. I absolutely love birthstones um, and I love the birthstones for everyone in my family, so I thought it was a really neat find to find these. Also picked up this little Paw Patrol surprise bag. Again, I got this as a stocking stuffer and I absolutely fell in love with this bracelet. They had it in like the silver color and I believe they had a black one as well but there was just something about this nice champagne gold color that I just fell in love with. I actually don't think that it's coming off on camera as nicely as it actually is but I had to pick it up. It's nice and stretchy. I just thought it was really really pretty. I also picked up some napkins. I picked up some nice plain red napkin picked up some nice plain red napkins. Now originally I had picked up some with like Christmas print on them, but I found that you get less napkins and so you get 32 lunch napkins in the package um, of just plain napkins and my napkin holder is actually quite decorative so I thought it would actually look nicer if we just had plain old red napkins. And it wouldn't be a trip to the Dollar Tree without makeup. I found some more of this glossy Mariposa uh, lip gloss. Normally I buy the matte liquid lipstick and I love them, um, but I bought a glass of uh I bought a glossy one a few weeks back and I love it. So I picked up this one in this like purpley, kind of shimmery, almost metallic um, color. And this one is in number eight. Let me just swatch it actually and show you guys what it looks like on the back of my hand. That is super, super pretty. That is definitely a color that I would wear. 
And then I also picked up this one. And this one is just like a nude pinky color. Now, I don't often have luck with these ones. I find these ones kind of patchy, so I'm interested to see what this one's like. This one is in number one. Let's see how it swatches. It's very opaque, which leads me to believe that it might be a little bit patchy, but it does look really, really nice. So I hope that it works out nicely, but I'm really excited about that one, and I think I can definitely make this one work. So I'm not wearing any of the Sassy and Chic nails right now, but I have been wearing them. I just take them off a little bit quicker, especially um, because of work, but I picked up some more of this nail glue. This is the Sassy nail glue, but it is not the Sassy and Chic nail glue. I absolutely love this nail glue. I'm actually liking this more than the Kiss nail glue that I got at Walmart that was $4. This one's just a dollar or a dollar 25 if you're here in Canada. I highly recommend this nail glue. Also picked up some of these um, LED tea light candles. I thought these were nice to have and I have a couple uh, Christmas decorations that hold candles and with kids running around it's always a good idea to just get the fake candles. I picked up another one of these house boxes. This one is the Christmas shop. I actually picked it up as a gift but then found out that the person actually really liked the gingerbread house so I picked that one up today. So this one is the, I guess it's not gingerbread house, it's called the bakery shop, but it is really, really cute with the little gingerbread man, and it has like a little window, and it shows all of the little baked goods, and then the gingerbread man on the back. I took mine and I cut the top off and actually made it into a tissue box, and I absolutely love it. It's really, 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 really easy to do, and I know a lot of people just put the square tissue box in it. I didn't actually do that. I just cut the top of mine open, pulled a bunch of tissues out of a tissue box and stuck them inside. Just make sure that they're still intact and that they're still um, piled on top of each other nicely. Roll it up, stick it in the box, and it works just fine. Now, tis the season to dress up for Christmas. So I picked up this Santa hat. I know that I have a whole bunch somewhere. I'm guessing I've worn them to parties and forgotten them there. So I picked up this Santa hat. My kids do have a few days at school where they've been asked to dress up. So I got the Santa hat in case one of them wants to wear that. But then I just couldn't pass this one up. This one has the red and the green and the sequins and I just thought they would like that one and then I just couldn't leave the little elf hat behind I know that the particular one of the particular days that they have to dress up is actually called um, Santa's helper and I thought one of them would just love to dress up as a little Santa's helper elf now about a year or so ago, I tried some of this pure and natural rosemary and mint shampoo and conditioner. And funny enough, I think I paid like $3 for it. Um, and I found it at Dollar Tree and I was super excited. Now I didn't like the shampoo, so I didn't rebuy it, but I absolutely loved the conditioner. So I picked up two of the conditioner. My favorite thing about it is definitely the scent. Um, so I picked it up, even if I mix it with some of my other conditioner, just to get that nice rosemary and mint scent. So I also picked up this bag of cotton balls. I thought they were a little bit small and not going to use them for makeup or anything like that. I actually thought that we could use them to stuff in those clear ornaments as well. I want to give people options on how to decorate their ornaments, so I picked this up for that. Also picked up these two wine bottle gift bags. I love these sizes of gift bags, not just for wine bottles, but you can put like a bottle of bubble bath in here. There are so many things that you can use it for, and I just think they are so super cute. Speaking of gift bags, I also got these two. They actually came in a package of two. I loved this one with the snowman and actually looks like a fox. And if you've been around, you know my daughter loves foxes, so I actually thought she could put her teacher gift in this bag, and then since there's two, my son can give this one to his teacher. I also picked up this really, really pretty tissue paper. It says Season's Greetings and Merry Christmas all over it. I just love the gold and the gold writing, and I knew that I could definitely use it. And one of the main reasons that I actually went into the Dollar Tree and I was so excited was I was looking for little mini gift bags, and I found these. They're just so pretty. They had so many different variations. This one says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then this one says, we believe in Santa. This one says, happy holidays. This one says, special delivery from the North Pole. 
season's greetings. A different variation of it's the most wonderful time of the year. This one with the cute deer. One. This one says season's greetings with a deer on it. And then the last bunch has December 25th for one night only. Santa Claus is coming to town. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then the last one says, cut your own Christmas trees, free hot chocolate. I just thought these were super adorable. I have little mini gifts that I have to give out. And so these will be absolutely perfect. And again, I found some more socks. I love that I was able to get three packs of socks um, for $1.25. They are little ankle socks. This one's really cute. Looks like a superhero sock. It's blue and it says BAM on it. This one is just plain white and blue. And then this one is blue with stars and then has a little red heel. I've mentioned before, um, I have really small feet so me and my kids can actually share socks. So I picked up these. Also picked up these really pretty purple ones. They look like they're tie-dye actually. And then there's a plain white one with a purple heel and a nice polka dot pair. And then I got a plain pair as well. They had a plain pair of black and gray and red. Also picked up this multi-tool. I thought this would be a really good stocking stuffer. It says it fits in your wallet, has 11 functions. It's a pocket tool, has a knife edge, a screwdriver, a bottle opener, a wrench. Um, I just thought it was neat. Definitely a good stocking stuffer. Picked up some more of these Cars granola bars that my children love. And I also picked up these Triscuit crackers. I actually picked up a box of Triscuit crackers the other day for $2.69. So I was super excited to find these at the Dollar Tree. I don't think I've ever tried the roasted garlic kind, but they sure do sound good. Picked up some candy canes. I picked up the regular size candy canes when I was in last week. And then I picked up some of the mini ones this week. My daughter loves candy canes. She's forever asking me for a candy cane. So I thought this way, if I have the small ones and I just want her to have a little bit, then I can let her have a little bit and then this way we also have the regular ones which are also really nice to decorate with. They have some really nice things at the Dollar Tree that you can actually use as actual gifts. They have this little um, Whisker Haven sticker fun set and it's like a little briefcase and it has 200 stickers, uh, 20 page sticker activity pad, four sticker play sheets and four sticker sheets. My daughter actually just got one of these for Christmas. Um, funny enough, the person left the price tag on it. They did not get it at the Dollar Tree. It was a lot more money. So I actually think this is such a great buy. So I picked up another one of these. I think I'll actually put it away for her because I know that she likes them. When she's all done with the one that she has, then I can give her this one. Even better than that find was this frozen set. This one is a my big box of stickers. It says that there is 3,350 stickers um, plus. So there's actually more than that. Four pages of sticker land pad, 24 page sticker mosaic book, 14 page sticker play pack, and six sticker sheets. It is a really nice thick box. It is nice and heavy. I actually picked it up because I thought it'd be a really good emergency birthday gift if my son gets invited to a party or something. My daughter's not a fan of Frozen so I won't be saving that for her. But I also found this Frozen Create Your Own Work of Art and it has a whole bunch of little sheets that you can paint. Comes with the paint and the paintbrush. And again, I think this would be a perfect little gift. So I'm gonna put these two away and then if my son gets invited to a birthday party and we're stuck for a gift, then I have these tucked away and we can always use that. I was really excited to find the glitter glue sticks at the Dollar Tree. Um, I had seen, I believe, one person haul it. I wanna say it was classy crafting and parcels, but I was super excited to find it because I figured why not glitter glue? That's just super cool. Now when I was in last week, I picked up these really cute stationary boxes, but I had missed this. This book is called My Recipes and you basically get a spot where you can create an index of your recipes and let um, write down what page your stuff is on and then just write your recipes in this book. It's also a stand-up book so you can stand it up 
and put it on your counter or wherever and then look at your recipe as you are using it. I just thought it was really, really cute. Whether or not I will use it for myself or as a gift, I'm not sure yet. It also came with these little magnets here. I'm sure you can put them on your fridge. I just thought it was a really nice, really cute book. There are some recipes that I use on a regular basis and I thought I could put them in here and then I don't have to rummage around for uh, them mixed in with all my other recipes that I don't use all the time. So like I said last week, I found these really cute stationery boxes. These are them. I just love them. They remind me of stationery boxes that I used to buy when I was a lot younger in high school. I used to just love boxes like this and I was always picking them up. They have cards inside and envelopes. There's 20 cards, blank cards and 20 envelopes. I just thought they were super cute. It's in the shape of this little book and it shows the two different designs on the back. I picked up three sets just because again I loved these growing up and I know that I'll be able to gift or give these to someone who can use them. So again, one of the main missions today at the Dollar Tree was to find some stocking stuffers. I found another brain teaser, so I picked this one up again for my brother-in-law. Also picked up this candy for him. It says uh, Gigabytes, and I just thought it was really, really funny. He loves computers and things like that, and so I thought it was a really nice play on words. So it says that it's your social candy. I just thought it was really neat, and so I thought he would get a kick out of that. Also picked up this gigantic box of Mike and Ike's. Again, got this for my brother-in-law brother-in-law. This notepad I actually picked up for myself, but again, if I'm stuck for a last minute gift, I just thought it was really, really cute. It comes with the pen. It says love on it. They had a whole bunch of other ones. Um, do what makes you happy, that kind of thing written on the notepads. I just thought they were really cute. It says there's a hundred sheets um, and it is made by the Jot brand. Picked up a few more cookies. I picked up these red Vortman cookies. These are the festive cookies. I just figure they're really good to have on hand. They're also really good to take into work if you're stuck for bringing a snack or something. So I got those. In my last haul, I picked up the green ones. So those ones will go really, really nicely. Also this time I picked up the assorted festive cookies. I just thought these were really, really fun. I know the kids really like them, so I got those. And I picked up the Vortman Holiday Gingerbread Kids. I picked up the Gingerbread Boys at the beginning of the Christmas shopping season and loved them. I kept buying them until I couldn't find them anymore, so I was really excited to find them in this bag. I'm assuming they're a little bit smaller, which is totally fine by me. My daughter loves gingerbread, so we're happy to have these. Really excited to find this Kix cereal. This one is the berry flavored. Um, we've never tried this, but I thought why not give it a try? Some of the cereals my children have tried and loved has come from the Dollar Tree, so I thought I would give this a chance. Um, the expiration date on these is March 20th, 2018. So if we start eating it now, we have three months to eat it. That's not a problem at all in my home. We go through a lot of cereal. I just thought these were super adorable. They're these 3D trees and it is a container of mints. They're striped mints and it says that there are 30 pieces in here. I just thought this was really cute either to put out as a decoration or even to give someone as a gift. I also picked up this little box of chocolates. I thought it looked really, really nice. I thought it would also make a nice little gift, a little addition to a card you might be giving someone. I did look, it says there are four chocolates in here. They are the Premium Laguna Seashells Premium Dark and White Chocolate. I just thought they looked really nice, kind of luxurious and definitely not luxurious in price. And then the very last things that I picked up were these two little tape measures. Again, I thought they would make a really, really good stocking stuffer. I love that it has a little carabiner on it. You can put it on your purse and then it's just like this cute little measuring tape. I know that I like to have a measuring tape on me when I'm shopping, so I thought that some of my loved ones would like to get one of these in their stocking. So that's everything for my Dollar Tree haul this time. If you stuck it out to the very end, thank you so very much. This is my last Dollar Tree haul before Christmas. There's just a few days left um, until Christmas, but there are still some shopping days left So if you saw anything that I hauled, I'm sure you'll be able to find it Like I said, my store was absolutely stocked today It actually was more stocked than I've seen in a very long time I was talking to the wonderful girls at the Dollar Tree who I absolutely love seeing I think that actually makes me go in even more often because they are wonderful and I love seeing them They've been working really really hard round the clock Some of them have been there till midnight stocking those shelves the shelves are 
are clear it's wonderful so I want to send a big shout out to them and thank you to them because without them crazy shoppers like me wouldn't be able to do what we do so to all of you who have watched if I don't get a chance to see you before Christmas a Merry Christmas I hope you have a wonderful holiday I hope you are happy and healthy and safe with your families enjoying whatever it is that you are doing whether you celebrate or not um, and again thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video I would love a thumbs up I'd love you to subscribe if you're not already and I hope to see you again soon talk to you later bye